We are witnessing an insane amount of Cybertrucks running amok on US roads, and it won't be long before this becomes the norm. The Tesla Cybertruck is getting closer and closer to its launch date. Recently, a video captured by a long-range drone shows the journey of the all-electric pickup through the complex of the Texas Gigafactory. Perhaps the most impressive thing is the smooth turn on the corners and the way it can transform itself into a Model Y. It's also been confirmed by Musk through his tweet that it is perhaps better than a Y when it comes to turning. This video shows the upcoming pickup's rear-wheel drive in action and gives us some additional information about its turning circle. So how would the Cybertruck's turning radius work, and what will make this model a highlight compared to other pickup brands? Join us to find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. But first, please show us your support by subscribing and sharing the video to your friends who are also big fans of Tesla. All right, we're set, so let's get started. Driving the pickup on the highway will feel similar to most other models, that's for sure. But you may be embarrassed if you have to struggle to perform operations in the parking lot when going out to eat or to the supermarket or, you know, perhaps Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want to go, I guess. It wouldn't be worth mentioning if the Cybertruck just made a regular turn over a large area. However, it completed a circular turn off approximately 35 feet in diameter to change lanes. What does that even mean to the regular folks at home? And how did Cybertruck create a highlight with that turn? In this footage, the Cybertruck drove away from the supercharger and completed an impressive U-turn from the left lane, then finished the maneuver on the incoming right lane. Although it has a length of 231 inches and a wheelbase of 149.9 inches, with a shorter nose, the wheels are brought closer to the nose, making it easier for us to handle bends and avoid collisions with the objects that are in front of us. But this isn't the Cybertruck's first rodeo. You see, for conventional models with a wide turning radius, it's very difficult to maneuver and it'll take a long time. Musk also confirmed on X.com that the Cybertruck's turning radius will be better than even the Model Y. In fact, the turning diameter curb to curb of the Model Y is 39.8 feet with a length of 187 inches compared to the Cybertruck. Meanwhile, the F-150 Lightning has a turning diameter of 48 feet. That's about nine more feet compared to the Model Y and around 13 more feet compared to the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck's capability to turn more efficiently than the Model Y surprises us with a pickup truck that possesses advantages that other models in the same segment like the F-150 are lacking. And a typical local road in the U.S. has a width between 9 to 12 feet, according to the Federal Highway Administration, and the median divides the road, taking up about 5 feet. So the Cybertruck has a width of 79.8 inches, and in the video, we can see two lanes that can accommodate up to seven Cybertrucks. According to calculations, Cybertruck would have a turning diameter of about 35 feet, as I've said before. This is really impressive for a pickup, and it also seems to be transformed into a mid-sized sedan, but better. The four-wheel drive system is starting to become a popular feature on electric cars today that is also the main reason that helps Tesla Cybertruck truck achieved the aforementioned parameters. Back in 2021, Musk revealed that the Cybertruck will be added with a rear-wheel drive system and many other great features that have yet to be revealed. Currently, rear-wheel drive settings typically work in two ways depending on road speed. At low speeds, the rear wheels turn opposite to the front wheels, virtually shortening the wheelbase of the car and allowing for much tighter turns compared to a similar vehicle without four-wheel steering. At higher speeds, the rear wheels turn in the same direction as the front wheels, but at a much lower angle providing better stability when going through turns. Can be said that the four-wheel drive system is the most important for any Cybertruck owner in tight spaces. This cornering maneuver shows that the Cybertruck has approached a U-turn 180 degrees to manage a very narrow radius thanks to the rear wheel steering system that Tesla has implemented. The width of the Cybertruck has also shown a great advantage in compensating for its slightly elongated body. A wider pickup truck could have a slightly larger turning radius compared to a narrower one. 
79.8 inches is the smallest number in the segment, but Cybertruck still retains six separate seats. This narrowing has reduced worries about collisions and lane encroachment, making the Cybertruck's turn faster and tighter. So far, it isn't really clear how far the rear wheel drive of the Cybertruck can rotate, but when we consider the crab walk feature, it seems unnecessary with a 10 degree rotation angle. And at the same time, it increases the weight of the vehicle, which is in a addition to the already heavy large batteries at the bottom. Thus, the weight of the vehicle is the main reason why Tesla has to reduce its operating range. Much like the Hummer EV First Edition offers a range of up to 350 miles and features a 350 kilowatt charging system to get the crab walk drivetrain, the Cybertruck will have a range of up to 500 miles and a 250 kilowatt charging system to match Tesla's vast supercharger network. It's estimated that Cybertruck will be lighter than other models in the same segment and weigh more than 6,000 pounds to be able to operate on the road according to the regulations of the Federal Highway Administration. With that said, we're expecting a complete Cybertruck package with tight turns and is suitable for the owner instead of redundant features. Tesla's Cybertrucks are yet to make their way to their first customers, but in recent days, literal truckloads of them have been spotted all across the United States, highlighting a ramp in production and hinting that deliveries are just around the corner. So are there any new updates in the Cybertruck delivery information? In Tesla's first quarter earnings call, Musk said that Tesla will deliver the first Cybertrucks to customers in the third quarter of 2023. Uh, can you give updated specs and pricing for Cybertruck and any new features that will make it to production? Well, I think we'll save uh, that for the uh, Cybertruck handover, which will hopefully be around the end of Q3 this year. Um, and I, I, one thing I, I, I am confident of saying is that it's an incredible product. Most Cybertrucks appeared en route to Fremont, California at the original Tesla Gigafactory. Some can see two other Cybertrucks covered in white on the front of the truck, which have also appeared on the highway in Indianapolis. It appears that they're arriving at their destination and fulfilling Musk's promise to complete deliveries by the third quarter. These complete Cybertruck prototypes are expected to be placed in local showrooms, which is exciting news since a lot of reservation holders are looking forward to the release of the Cybertruck in the coming months. Moreover, the actual road tests will probably be the final stage of testing for it to be driven on U.S. roads under government regulations. So let's just be patient a while longer and see what the Cybertruck has in store for the future of the EV industry. What do you think about these impressive pitches? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spraying the word and ringing the bell to get notified of more exciting episodes from Tesla Car World. Thank you so much and until next time, take care and stay safe.